Well, yesterday we got a pretty surprising casting announcement, or a possible casting announcement. News outlets were reporting that actors Kristen Wiig of Saturday Night Live fame, you know, comedic actors mostly, is in talks to play the role of Cheetah, one of Wonder Woman's most famous villains, and who's going to be in Wonder Woman 2. That's, that's what's been rumored. But some pretty reputable, you know, online magazines are reporting this, which makes me think it might be fact. Now, a lot of these same places were also saying that Emma Stone had already, like, passed on the role. So I guess she didn't want it for whatever reason. And now Kristen Wiig might be getting it. We'll see, though. I mean, she's in talks, the articles say. And this hasn't been confirmed by Warner Brothers. So it might not be true, maybe. And she might not wind up getting the role. Might go to someone else. Kristen Wiig's a surprising choice because she's uh, mostly famous as a comedy actress. And then she is not a comedy character at all. She's very serious. That's not a character who's just for laughs. If you've like read any of the comics she's been in or seen the Injustice video game. Now I know Kristen Wiig has done some dramatic work. So, you know, that makes me feel better because if she does get this role, it makes me feel confident that she'll be able to do it because I doubt Wonder Woman 2 is going to be a comedy. You know, whoever plays a cheetah's got to be able to bring, you know, the dramatic acting when called upon. Now I should tell you about who the cheetah is in the comics and who the character is. Now in the DC comics, there have been multiple people who've played, who've been the cheetah, um, most of them women and one man. The first two, like in the old, like, like classic comics, I think the first one was this lady named Priscilla Rich, and the second lady was someone named Deborah or Debbie Domain, and neither of them had powers. They were like crazy ladies who <laughs> dressed up in like cheetah outfits and would just do bad stuff. And I think one or two of them had multiple personalities. I don't remember because I haven't read too many of the old Wonder Woman comics. And there's one guy who's been the cheetah, Sebastian Ballesteros or Ballesteros. He was a businessman or a criminal or whatever who made a pact with like some kind of mystical god to get the cheetah power. He came up, he like was introduced in like the 2000s or something. But the version of the cheetah who's going to be in the movies that Christian Wig might be playing is Dr. Barbara Ann Minerva, who is probably the most prominent cheetah and the one who, you know, will be the most well-known years from now because that's the one that DC wants to be promoting and the one who's been the cheetah for like the past 30 or 40 years. But now on to her origin. Originally, this character debuted in the 80s and she was a British archaeologist who was bad from the start. She was very selfish, neurotic, and greedy and she went around like hunting for treasure or personal gain and she was very ruthless and she found out that there was a tribe in a jungle where there was someone who would make a pact with like a plant god or an animal god called Earth's Gatarga. I don't know how to say it. And that person would get immortality. And she found out what she would have to do. She went to the jungle. She would have to drink blood and um, eat berries of this god to become, you know, the immortal champion of this god or servant or whatever. But she didn't know that whoever did that was supposed to be a virgin or something <laughs> to get the immortality. And Barbara Ann Minerva wasn't a virgin, and so the transformation turned out to be a curse. And she was cursed to be like this, I think, erratic or bloodthirsty, like, were cat or were cheetah woman. And she met Wonder Woman when she discovered that Wonder Woman had the lasso of truth, you know, the glowing lasso that's very powerful and strong, compels people to tell the truth. And because the cheetah, Barbara Ann Minerva, wanted stuff for her collections and she was greedy, she tried to take it from Wonder Woman and steal it from her. And that's how it's, she started to meet Wonder Woman and fight her, to steal her lasso at first. And then later on, she just wanted to beat Wonder Woman up because she was mad at her for constantly winning and things like that. That started the dynamic. A couple of reboots later, they changed the Cheetah's origin. And I'll bet you this is the origin they're going to use for the movies or some, some version of it if, you know, this happens. And then the most recent version of the Cheetah... She was, again, a British archaeologist who started out being a good person or just a regular woman who was an archaeologist the way regular archaeologists are. She was very good at her job, very intelligent, super smart. And when Wonder Woman first came from Paradise Island to Man's World, she didn't know any English or anything. And one of the people whom she befriended was Dr. Barbara Ann Minerva, this archaeologist who taught her how to speak English and helped acclimate her to the ways of the world the modern world, the man's world or whatever, and they became very good friends. One of Wonder Woman's closest friends growing up. And then later on, she turned evil, and this is how it happened. <laughs> now, Barbara and Minerva always wanted to find Themyscira, the home of the Amazons where Wonder Woman came from, 
And she knew it existed, but she never had proof or didn't know how to get there or something like that. So she needed funding. And evil businesswoman Veronica Kale gave her the money to fund this expedition to finally get there. What Barbara Ann Minerva doesn't know is that Veronica Kale is tricking her. See, Veronica Kale's daughter has been, her soul has been stolen by a couple of do gods named Phobos and Deimos who want to use Veronica Kale and her resources to find the location of Themyscira, Wonder Woman's home for themselves. And so they're basically blackmailing Kale, like find this island for us and we'll restore your daughter's soul. And so Kale in turn is tricking a smart archeologist, um, Barbara and Minerva to find it for her. And she's not telling her all this. She's just telling her, you know what? I think this research you're doing about gods and archeology, span that's cool. Go, I'll fund your expedition to find this island. But you know, I just told you why she really wants Barbara Ann to find the island. And you know, Barbara Ann is ready to go, not knowing she's been duped. And she tells Wonder Woman, because they're good friends, that she's going on this fun expedition to find, you know, Wonder Woman's home. Now you might be wondering, why didn't Wonder Woman just tell her, you know, that's where she's from? Doesn't she know where her home is? In this version, Wonder Woman doesn't know because the gods did something that messed up with her memory. It's a long convoluted story that I can't go into this video, but Wonder Woman didn't know where her home was either. So nobody knew where it was. That's why Barbara Ann was going to find it. And so, you know, Wonder Woman told her, you know, this is dangerous. I know you're going to do it anyway. So take this signal device. And if you run into any trouble, press this button and I'll come running. Wonder Woman's busy being a superhero. So she doesn't have time to go with Barbara Ann to this island, wherever it is. So she says, you know, just press this and I'll come running. So, but what they both don't know is that Dr. Kale is um, eavesdropping on this conversation with the, with the help of Dr. Cyber, another Wonder Woman villain who has power to like manipulate technology and stuff. And on Dr. Kale's orders, Veronica Kale's orders, Dr. Cyber disables the device, unbeknownst to Wonder Woman and Barbara Ann. So when Barbara Ann goes to this jungle and meets this like horrible, horrible God who's there, she presses the button and Wonder Woman doesn't hear it. And the God, you know, I guess curses her and she becomes the cheetah. You know, she's cursed to consume human flesh and all this kind of stuff and be evil. And she blames Wonder Woman, her best buddy, for not being there to help save her from this fate. And so that is the dynamic between these two characters now. She's basically the best friend who feels betrayed by the superhero kind of angle. Like they started out as buddies and became mortal enemies because of a misunderstanding by this other supervillain who was Dr. Kale, who was manipulating stuff behind the scenes. But anyways, I think Kristen Wiig can pull it off. She's certainly an unexpected choice. I think a lot of people would have picked someone who didn't have a comedy background, but I didn't say she can't do it. She can still do it, but we'll see. We'll see if she winds up actually taking the role. Like I said, Emma Stone passed on it and this is a rumor. She might not be in talks at all. And it could be she doesn't want to do it or somebody else takes it or whatever. But we'll see. I'll definitely be making a video about it when we find out. But that's my DC movie update for the day. If you'd like to watch and make more videos about DC movies and TV shows and Wonder Woman, please like the video and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.